Hello, happy evening. Welcome to Dr. Mahipati Talks. As a series of uh, lectures we are organizing every day evening at 5.30 and 7 o'clock. Today we have got uh, the resource person by name Dr. Chinta Shamsundar. He has put uh, more than uh, decades of uh, teaching experience where he has been working with uh, Mahatma Gandhi University, uh, assistant professor of English uh, department over there. He is not only an expert in the area of language teaching, but also he is a creative person who writes uh, songs. As you know that these talks have been arranged during this COVID-19. How to cope up with this and uh, you know, everything has been stopped, but learning has not been stopped. In the same manner, even for uh, Chinta Shamsundar also, uh, he started writing his song, song lyric on uh, uh, the Corona and he sang and it was recently uh, inaugurated or launched by uh, the MLA, Bhopal Reddy Kanchala Bhopal Reddy Garu. And I'm, I'm thankful to uh, Dr. Chitta Shamsundar for uh, having accepted to take a session on uh, the productive skills, uh, how to improve the productive skills of the rural area students, which is very important. Because as you know, that learning language at the uh, urban area is not, it's a cakewalk. But when it comes to the rural area students, it's very important that uh, we need to make them to understand and, uh, what are the areas that they need to improve. So the topic for today is enriching productive skills of rural students. Now I request uh, Shamsundar sir uh, to go ahead with the topic. So thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is it clear, sir? Yeah, you're audible, sir. You can go ahead. Okay. Good evening to all the respected participants. First, I would like to say thanks to Dr. Mahipati Sinwas Rao for giving me an opportunity for live talk. And I'm really privileged to sir. And my special thanks to Dr. Malavi Madam, Assistant Professor in English, Palamur University, for introducing me to Dr. Mahipati Sinwas Rao for a live talk and all the esteemed and distinguished personalities, scholars, student friends, and professors, I once again, very good evening to one and all. See, my topic is enriching productive skills of rural students. Before going to give my talk on this, I would like to speak about history of English in India and the impact of colonial education in India. As we all are aware of that, our India was ruled over by the Britishers for 200 years. In their tenure, there was a drastic change in India. The Britishers came to India with a more noble mission in hand, the mission of civilization, a kind of reformation. The mission of civilization by Charles Grand Woods. Here after the tenure of 200 years of period, we got independence in the year 1947. And also we are all, all, all are aware of that. India, I mean, indigenous languages was dominated by British colonial English. Colonizers, especially they concentrate, they concentrated on fertile lands in India and they impose forcibly. Here, the impact of English was indulged and inculcated all over the world, all over India. And education during British colonial era, politically, economically, socially, what more? Everywhere it was flourished by a word of English. English is a language which was dominated on indigenous Indians, though they don't know how to read and write but they made us to read, they made us to speak. That was 
the motto that was the administration which was implemented by colonial British Maharajs. English was main tool for the British to communicate. They made us to speak forcibly. At the time, even they used a gun, gun and Bible, accept the Bible and speak in English. If anybody, people who are living in India, if they deny the word of Britishers, they used to murder, they used to kill then and there. That was the system and administration which was forcibly implemented by the British in India. It has another thing I would like to focus in front of you. It has become a second language. After that, when the Britishers are ruling our country, they first concentrated on education. Education, they, he, they would like to give education for the people who are living in India because education from the corner, they want to make, they would like to make the Indians to speak in English. So English was the second language in India. MTI, mother tongue influence was totally no more. That was in vain. And the other tongue that is English was habituated by the people who used to speak in mother tongue languages. Of course, India was a religious country, but the religious country was totally dominated and dethroned and was people are enslaved, humiliated, deprived, damaged by a word of English. So you can understand how the administration of colonizers in India during their rule. And there are many advantages and disadvantages. Advantages is, advantage is we got a word of English. Without speaking, communication is going to play a vital role. Without speaking, there is no food for the people who are living in India. So that was a legacy which was left by the Britishers after giving independence to India. That was the legacy which was left by the Britishers, British Maharaj. I would like to say that it is an advantage. Though we lost culture, identity, our language, our food, our habit, our lifestyle, but we are totally modernized. Even people, layman, illiterate people also, illiterate people, they don't know how to read and write, but they started speaking English. In Chuna, actually things fall apart. The place in Chuna, actually things fall apart. Colonizers, they dominated on the people who are living in the Ibu family, the people living in that places, they also started speaking and many people are baptized into English culture. Even Indians also baptized into in English culture that is westernization, modernization. That is what I would like to say, suggest that the legacy, the impact, the impact of colonizers had given a much more advantage in India. There is a drastic change. It is really a great pleasure for Indians. Then afterwards, I want to put in front of you another ruler, that is Nizam or Nizam rule. Urdu was the first language in India. They made us to speak in Urdu forcibly. Then without reading and writing, people who are living in Nizam, that is in Karnataka, Telangana, Hyderabad, in particular places, people are much more exposed imitated, started imitating, speaking forcibly because the rule was totally under the clutches of control of Nizams. So they introduced Urdu as a first language. It is must and should for the people who are living in India, or in Telangana, especially in Hyderabad, Karnataka and places in India part, they forcibly, they learn, they made us to speak Urdu. That was the impact of Nizams and the Britishers, these two impacts made us to speak Telugu, um, to speak Urdu, Hindi, and, and also English. Not only literate people, learned people, educated people, uneducated also can speak. Here, the main point
point I would like to focus is because of their impact, because of the colonizers' impact, because of the impact of Nizams, without reading and writing, at present we are speaking. We paid more concentration, whatever they used to do so. And here, the main point is, what is the impact of teachers? What is the impact of English teacher in the class? Especially rural background, especially where the uneducated people, where the environment is not up to the mark, especially in village areas. Only few schools are available. But being an English teacher, teacher is not up to the mark. Teacher used to translate the English into Telugu. Because of that, translating English into Telugu, of course, of course, teacher can suggest translate Telugu. But English teacher should, must speak in English. Hindi teacher always speaks in Hindi. Telugu teacher always speaks in Telugu. Urdu teacher always speaks in Urdu. Mathematical teacher, they speak in mathematical Chem chemistry they used to do, practical in chemistry. Why not English teacher? English teacher should speak, speak, speak. That is the ultimate tool to aware of, to make or to mobilize the people, especially young, grown, young and energetic youth, they should be mobilized. The motto, the, 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 here, the part played by a teacher is very important in the class. So that is the desire, impact of colonizers, impact of Nizams, because of that impact, today we are enjoying, today we are speaking. The same impact we have to put on, or we have to take as a charge, and we have to give some exercises. We need to make the student to speak in English, English, whether it is Butler English or whatever it may be, we can. Because English is 26 letters, but Telugu is 56. See. Americans came to India somewhat. They took some words, the language Telugu words, and they changed into English lingua franca. Mother tongue is also very beautiful. 56 words, if you compare with 26 words, 26 letters are very easy, what I would like to say, because I did many practicals. I had given many lectures because uh, without English, without grammar also, we can speak English. I mean, uh, without, because I'm not going to uh, damage any grammatical rules and regulations. Without grammar also, communication skills are very easy. Unless, until, if you make it or keep it in practice, we cannot get on in present scenario or present situation. Now, the introduction is language skills. Whatever the language status of English, first language, second language, or foreign language. A knowledge of four skills are essential, necessary for every any person who would like to learn or speak or read or write. There are four skills. There are four language skills. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. But I am not going to concentrate on reading and writing. I would like to focus on only two skills, that is speaking and listening. Speaking and listening. This Two skills are very, very essential and important for upcoming young and energetic and dynamic uh, students in, in India. Because India is a religious country. India is a very rich country. We can see much more productive people all over the world if we implement such type of rules or skills like listening and speaking. It, it, is very essential for communication, these four skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. But rather than that, I want to focus on two, speaking and listening. In native, in native of first language, I mean our native language is mother tongue, that is MTI, mother tongue is Telugu. How we the people learn Telugu? We learn Telugu. MTI language, children learn from very early age, they respond to the sounds of the tunes which their elders habitually used in talking to them. Our elders used to speak. Infant baby started crying and afterwards crawling, then afterwards identifying, then afterwards listening towards 
what the parents and family used to do to first the children, the infant baby, I mean the children started imitating the sounds. Imitation is a beginning stage, initial stage can be learned. We can learn many more, not only English, any language we can learn with imitation, not reading and writing, only through listening. Mother tongue influence. Now I can speak Telugu. Nenu Telugu lo baga matlada kaluta. Uneducated also can speak Telugu. They don't know how to read and write, but they are speaking Telugu. I know how to read and write. I can speak Telugu. Who is better? Uneducated are better. But I know how to read and write and listen English. But some people, students who are in schools and colleges and universities, they are afraid of to speak in English because there is no proper environment in particular places. Even teacher has to create an a English environment so that definitely students can inspire. Inspiration is the right motto. Imitation is the better exercise. How a child, how a children, uh, how a small baby or a boy used to imitate the song, the same, we need to do so. That is what a child, LKG, UKG, first class, second class, third class, fourth class student, they don't know what is grammar. They don't know what is tense. They don't know what is actuous, passuous but they can speak better English rather than 10th class Telugu medium students. Try to absorb because they always concentrate, listen what the teacher imitates, what the teacher used to produce the sounds, what the teacher used to imitate the sounds. The same thing, children, students who are in LKG up to fourth or fifth standard, they started imitating. Vocabulary, communication, fluency is better because they are not afraid of speaking. They are, they are not afraid of grammar. They are not afraid of reading. They know how to imitate, imitate. They know how to speak, speak, speak. That is the tool which was implemented by students at English medium background. So the same. In the due course, from a need to communication, they themselves began to imitate. In after a few days, after a few months, now they started themselves imitating and speaking a communicative language, a, 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 a school student, a English medium student. But whereas else in rural background, that kind of environment, that kind of facilities are not available in government sector. Now the government is taking very initiation, introducing uh, 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 what schools, uh, English schools, English medium schools in, in rural background. Now they started. So this is this should be started around 50 years back so that India is going to become a, a golden India. So that dream, I, I, I wish I wish the government of Telangana, I wish uh, the government of India, Narendra Modi and Kesia, now they are taking a, a great step to uh, mobilize, are going to make the people literate, aware of English. So I would like to say once again, thanks to them. Now, language plays a crucial role in communication and English is no doubt. Every man should strive hard to acquire good communication skills. This is very important aim for the young uh, educated student because everywhere cutthroat competition is going on. Everywhere, everywhere there is a, a big competition, unemployment problem. So do not worry about that competition. Do not worry about kind of problems. Once you have a language of communication skills like speaking English, you can survive everywhere in the world. There is no problem for you. The young people, do not worry about your future. Our, your future is in your hands. Everything is with you and within you, unless until if you did, if you did not dare to dream, you cannot achieve your goal. The former president of India, Abdul Kalam, spoke this word. Every man's life is architect in the hands of yourself. Everything is with you and within you. Unless until if you did not dare to dream, you cannot achieve your goals. That is fairness. That kind of zeal, that kind of courage, that kind of ability, that kind of enthusiasm, that kind of spirit should be there for everyone. Where the spirit is going to come for children. Teachers are the spiritual teachers. They are going to give you the inspiration. Teacher talk should be reduced. Student exercises should be uh, developed or should be entertained in the classroom. Of the four skills, language, I would like to concentrate on two skills, that is listening 
and speaking. There is a saying that is to say your ability to speak. There is a saying. There is a saying that your ability to speak well depends on your ability to listen well. If we want to speak well, if we want to speak a communicative language, or if you want to speak any language, you need to concentrate not hearing. You need to concentrate actual listening. Then only you can speak better language. Look, I will talk in Urdu and Hindi. I will not talk about reading or writing. But I will talk in Urdu and Hindi. Here the exercise is I used to speak always with the Muslim friends. Even I can speak with Spanish language. Even I can speak Telugu. Who is speaking Telugu perfectly according to the environment? Ekkadi ko thunam, etu ko thunam, yadi ko thunam. That is what a sign of where the person is going. And the same way, where you go, where are you going? So this is what very freedom language. We need to make them to speak well. What do do not stress. Do not make them to. Yeah, you are not speaking grammatically. Let them sh come out. They do like to warm it with the vocabulary, with their uh, kind of uh, uh, fluency. Once they got fluency, automatically they can sort out the grammatical skills. So the ability to speak well depends on your ability to listen well. So now come to a very important area. What is the communication? Communication and the purpose of learning any language is nothing but the communication is very very essential the purpose of speaking of learning any language communication uh, is effectively going to play a vital role what is communication that is known to everyone we are all aware of what is communication communication is an art of transmitting or conveying information ideas or attitudes desires whatever emotions or emotions or feelings uh, one person to another i mean sender to receiver that is a communication whatever i convey that receiver should receive the information that we are going to end the matter so we have to calculate we have to feel that once a sender conveyed a message to the receiver and receiver responded that is a communication so we need not to con concentrate that i am not speaking in grammatically you have to speak grammatically then only i speak so there we are going to waste our time communication never follows any grammatical structures communication conveys a message to the sender and the sender has to uh, sender is going to convey the message to the receiver receiver should send the same information that is communication and what are the most common ways we communicate here another thing is language plays a, a crucial role in communication what are the most common ways we communicate spoken word written visual images body languages so this is what the common most common ways we communicate now i want to come very close to you especially here what as a teacher as a teacher what impact what role we have to play in the society in the schools or in the colleges or in wherever the institutions are as a english teacher what activity we have to play because of that because i am not saying that uh, uh, i am speaking better english no one is better in speaking english i mean of course some may speak but according to the environment according to the area we are communicating the language or uh, english here the very important skill is hearing versus listening this is very important for student from kg to pg hearing versus listening hearing means physical process natural and passive listening is physical as well as mental process actual learning many of the students telugu medium background students they never pay attentive they always hear because they are not able to understand what the teacher says because they are unable to concentrate because 
that environment is not located in that area. So how we have to involve, inculcate, indulge, immense the people into that English environment. That is, listening is going to play a very important role physical and as well as mental process, I mean, actual learning process is a skill that is very important. So what we have to do to make the students to listen carefully. Listening is hard, of course. We must choose to participate in the process of listening. It is too hard, but whereas else, uneducated and educated student, now they are going to enjoy a movie for three hours in the theater. This side educated, another side uneducated. Now they are going to concentrate, actually concentrate on listening or hearing. Listening. Because everything is very colorful, wonderful, and they are motivated because wantedly they're coming. They have selected, today I have to watch a movie. So they got a zeal, they got a kind of created an environment in their mind, today I want to watch a movie. So here the interest they had created, because of that interest they had attended, they played an active role on listening, because of listening, now they cannot miss a dialogue, they cannot miss a song, even educated can sing a song, and uneducated can sing a song without missing any dialogue. That is the power of listening. We need to concentrate. Listening is hard. Of course, we must choose to participate in the process of listening. Improving boarding languages, maintain eye contact and spining gently. This is also a kind of language communication. Now, my point is, my area, what the subject is, enriching productive skills of rural student. This is what I have to make it in front. The city children and the rural children. Now, the topic is very close to this. The children, the city children and the rural children getting acquainted with English language. Since 70% of the students in India are from rural background, 70% of the students who are living or taking education in India are all are from rural background. And most of them are first generation learners. So these first generation learners should be encouraged. We have to ever elevate, we have to support, we need to make them to aware of what the present technology is. Here at present in 21st century, 20th century, a lot more technology. Technology is available, but utilization is very poor. Now the government is very serious to introduce all such technologies, all softwares. Teachers are available. So now the teacher has to play a vital, vital role. How the impact of colonizers in India for 200 years, how the impact of Nizams or Nizams in India, in Telangana, probably. Because of that impact, we could speak English, Urdu, or whatever. Now the impact of teachers should be played a vital role in the class. Since 70% of the students in India are from rural backgrounds, as a teacher, we need to reform the system of my school, my place, my area. Besides, you can go for social service. Now, the first generation learners, they lack guidance, English language for them, parents and others, even parents are not aware of speaking English. Because there was no machine school. Machinery schools are not there in particularly in Telangana, in Andhra, or some Kerala, in some other Hyderabad, in Madras. These places, metropolitan places, are totally influenced, are imbibed, are totally habituated, are enjoyed the fruits of colonial machines, colonizer systems. They introduce their own culture because of that machines which are at present are running. Now they are baptized and enjoying the fruits. But what, what about some rural background areas? Now the government has to play Indian impact, Indian English impact compared with British or other languages. Our Indian language is the sweetest good language compared with all over the world. So this is the right time 
this is the right time for us to mobilize our Indian young and energetic youth into a ice how high to high top of the peak of the level so that we can fulfill the dream of India that is golden India how the dream was dreamt by uh, great people and also at present uh, Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi ji his dream is going to be true because he's struggling a lot to make the youth into the highest peak level. Definitely his dreams are going to be true. And I'm also going to take a part to make his dream successful. Okay. Even KCR Sar is also the chief minister of Chandrasekhar Rao is also playing a vital role to make the youth to uh, learn uh, update technology or present uh, modern technology. So introducing the English medium schools is also a great uh, uh, privilege for uh, the chief minister of uh, Telangana, that is uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar Rao. Now, students of rural and urban students. Students, a status of rural and urban students. What is the status now? The city bred children are exposed to a lot of modules and they have the privilege of learning English through different methods. Urban students, city students are enjoying, they have immense, they have a lot more facilities. They have a modern technology in private schools, institutions, spoken English institutions, and many more opportunities are available in urban city areas. Whereas else rural background students, they themselves have to inculcate, they themselves have to imitate. This is really very pathetic situation. So we need to reduce, we need to overcome such kind of rural problems and we need to come to the uh, rural places and we need to indulge and inject the modern technology, how our Indians are great all over the world. Now, if you compare with all over the world, best speakers, persons who are enjoying the highest rank in the world, is only Indians, are Indians. Indians are very powerful. Our language is very powerful. Though we are baptized by the Britishers, but we can baptize ourselves by Indian technology. India is a great country. India is a beautiful country. India is a wonderful country that is in the hands of young and energetic dynamic students and also teachers. And here, uh, a lot of modules that Urban students are enjoying, but rural students are not enjoying. Now the stage is up to the mark. Now the government is initiative and they are introducing many uh, technologies and uh, administrative skills in rural background and uh, especially for uneducated children, poor people. Special teachers in city are available, but whereas else no special teacher in the school, in the private, I means remote area or mass area in the rural area. No special teacher. A English teacher has to speak in English, but whereas else, instead of speaking English, the teacher is translating the English into Telugu where there is an environment. So training, special training should be given. Special training should be given for teachers because there is that is not a problem of teacher. That is a problem of students because they are habituated for a kind of Telugu environment or uh, indigenous language. So we need to mobilize. We need to give special training how the urban teachers, urban students are, are enjoying the technology of English spoken institution the same way urban students, how they enjoy the same rural students should enjoy such kind of uh, technology. Definitely, we can see the dream of India into golden India. Problems faced by the rural students in India is social, cultural and financial background of the family. As most of the parents are illiterate, they are not able to guide the boards as educated person. They are unable to guide. One thing I would like to say that compare with Telugu medium student and English medium student. Telugu medium students can do grammar perfectly, whereas else English medium students English medium students, they are enjoying the government jobs, but whereas as private uh, English uh, Telugu medium students are getting marks, hundred out of hundred marks they are getting in grammar, but English medium students are not getting hundred out of hundred. 
they are getting just me 60 or 70 or so compared with telugu medium student they are very particular about grammar reading and writing they are not very particular about listening and speaking so at present situation now everything is online technology is online we are unable to attend the classes we are unable to listen the teacher what the teacher is going to speak in the class everything is changed everything is high fi technology we have to adapt so now reading and writing is somewhat but whereas as listening and speaking is much more powerful this is very very essential this is what i would like to suggest to you socially culturally economically financially they should become better and the students are going to better and the poverty should be removed and we have to entertain uh, stipends or kind of uh, inputs or materials or infrastructures for the schools of government schools and sector definitely the infrastructure if you provide automatically we can see the golden india how the dreams are dreamed by great leaders at present effective teaching methods of english i uh, mean uh, mainly skills namely listening speaking reading and writing this is what effective speaking english in india now listening is one very basic skill which make speaking possible nobody can speak a language without listening can can we speak english can we speak telugu can you speak any language indigenous languages any language if you want to speak listening is going to play a vital role listen carefully not hear hearing is just body person body is present in front of but mind is somewhere mind if you concentrate with mind that is he listening automatically any language you can speak that is what i would like to suggest even an infants start speaking english particular language of her, this is what already so on. so we need to as we are adopted a syllabus we need to adopt a syllabus in which writing and reading of english is given much importance writing and writing and reading of english is given much importance our students are deprived of speaking abilities we are giving only one thing see in schools and colleges and institutions according to the time table when the schedule examination schedule is noticed now students are aware of that tomorrow exam today they started mugging up what kind of language no intensively reading no interest just they skimming and skipping and scanning and not loud reading this kind of exercise is not there in the schools or colleges or anywhere there is no loud reading there is no interest there is no vocabulary just skimming skipping and scanning and taking the exam uh, tomorrow and this is what it is not fair on the part of students we need to how reading and writing is uh, doing at present that to very poor not up to the mark it is not mature level so our students are deprived on speaking ability because of they have not been properly guided by listening skills always reading writing reading writing this is for the certificate purpose once you read and write you will get a certificate and the same certificate you are going to attend for interview there they they are not going to give the weightage for your certificate or marks they are going to give your weightage for your presentation skills if you speak well if you mesmerize if you satisfy the interviewers with your communicative skills then you will get a job reading and writing it is a certificate if you listen if you write if you write you will get a marks if you read if you if you write an exam you will get a certificate but if you speak you will get a job so speaking is very important if you speak you will get a job so speaking skills are very 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 important reading and writing is a certificate purpose speaking and listening is for job purpose your life is totally architect in the hands of yourself if you want to dare to dream if you want to achieve many great positions get good jobs you need to listen and speak 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 always always speaking 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 as our students are deprived so that kind of suppression depression should not be continued from today onwards it should be implemented by practice that is speaking then here another thing i want to make it very clear that is what listening skill they may be basic reason why they have not able to speak english in proper manner so the syllabus should be redesigned and make the students listen a lot so they have to listen uh, songs especially uh, english songs uh, only english songs english news headlines so they have to 
if they listen automatically, everything is possible. And activities for listening skills. Sir, it is clear, sir? Hello? Hello, sir? Sir. It is clear, sir? Yeah, it's clear, sir. Yeah, okay. now, Very good. So, so listening uh, active activities for listening, especially rural background students. Activities, what activities we have to play in the institutions or colleges or wherever the society where we are moving or where we are living. What activities, especially in the classroom. Listen, uh, improve the listening skills in the sense, listen to the recorded sounds. For example, I speak in a language how the American accent is. Eminent preceptor who are seated on the flowering dais and thoughts and chronics. Good morning, everybody. If I speak like this in front of a Telugu medium student, they are surprised, but they are keeping more concentration to hear. This is what a kind of enthusiasm we have to create. If they don't know how to understand, but they are listening, they are paying attention. If they do go on like that, listening, listening automatically, the language is going to imbibe and inject that in our blood and we can speak beautiful language. Do not worry about the language. Language is just in front of us, unless until if you speak, unless until if you enjoy speaking, speaking automatically, the fruit will be with you and within you. No need to worry about you. About Now come to this, uh, interviews and discussions. Interviews and discussions should be teacher talk. Teacher talk should be very reduced in the class. We need to entertain the student. Let them speak. Let them speak and enjoy. For example, our India was ruled by the Britishers and the Nizam. We used to tell the medium students, you means people used to illiterate people also spell a word of school. School ku and Telugu lanta. Urdu me kya bolte usko? A school bolte. Or English me kya bolte? What do we say in English? School. So here the matter is very clear. What the sender is going to send and the receiver understood that is school. So we not to worry about it is. Whatever the language we are doing, let it be. You speak butler or matlar, water, whatever it may be. You should be very accurate. Do not worry. Fluency is very important. Fluency is going to make you perfect English and fluency in English and vocabulary power ultimately is going to. Listening to the news, bulletins, chart shows, chart, mount chart diagrams, watching English movies on TV. Now, Dora man and such kind of useless. We are using always, we are habituated. Our body, our veins and mind and everything. The young youth, the young and youth, children are totally addicted for China goods. There is nothing in that. We are going to be, we are going to become very mentally mad. This is not entertained in the houses or somewhere else. They should be entertained with enjoyment exercises listening to the melodious English songs or watching TVs and listening to speeches of great statements and politicians and watching headlines is also a kind of exercise. Now I would like to keep in front of you a tongue twisting exercise. This was taken from school level because I worked as a teacher for four years. After completing my PG and beard, I, I teach English for LKG students. I enjoyed a lot. See, now, tongue twisting exercises. How the tongue twisting exercises are going to be. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses and hedges and ditches. It's a tongue twisting. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses and hedges and ditches. And charging and law like a troops in a battle all through the meadows, the horse and the cattle, all of the sight of the hills and the plain, fly as thick as driven a ring. And ever again in the wink of an eye, painted station weasel by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering bambles. Here is a drum who stands and guises, and here is a green for steering the dice. Here is a cot rave in the road, lumping along with the man and the load. And here is a mill and there is a river, each and glimpse and gone forever. 
So this is a tongue twisting exercise. So we have to make our students, we have to make the student to twist, twist, twist the tongue. Definitely we can overcome lot many problems which are in front, especially for students. Now here, <clears throat> another active listening song. I want to make it, I'm very close now. I'm going to end it now. Active listening exercise also as a teacher. If you play music or a song, it cannot be very uh, attractive or cannot be concentrated by the student actively. They cannot be very uh, interested to hear, uh, listen, they always hear. But practically, if a teacher, English teacher, do the same exercise in the class, automatically uh, they are going to mobilize themselves, inspire, and they practice, imitate the same sound, sound, how a KG teacher, how a KG student used to imitate apple, APPL apple. If you, if anybody teacher say, it is not apple, it is a papil. No, my teacher told me to pronounce it, imitate the sound as an apple, the same sound they do. And here, active listening exercises here. One thing I want to make it. What where does the wind come? What where does he go? He rides over the water, over the snow. What where does the wind come? What way does he go? He rides over the water, over the snow, through wood, through well, over rocky height, which the goat cannot take his sounding flight. Through wood. Through well over rocky height, which the goat cannot climb his sounding flight. How it will come, he tells us about in every battery, as if you look up, you plainly may see. But how it will come and whether he goes, there is never a scholar knows. What where does the wind come? What where does he go? He rides over the water, over the snow. I think it is an active hearing, a uh, listening exercise to my knowledge. So as a part of this, I would like to make it. Now, finally, finally, I would like to end up with very important uh, uh, area is, how to improve my speaking skills forcing them to speak. We need to force, reduce teacher talking time, T, 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 teacher talking time in the classroom. Then only student can aware of. Give the exercise, make him read loud, loud. Use the mirror front of. Reduce teacher talking time in the classroom. Increase students talk time, STT, STT, not MTI, mother tongue influence. Forgot about mother tongue influence. TTT, teacher talk time should be reduced. STT, student talk time should be improved. Public speaking skills. Speak, speak, speak. The magic, the magic with you and within you is better speaking that would be too easy. Reduce your words. Where are you going? Where you go? Yes, sir. Tell you medium students can gain. Where are you going? Where you would like to go? You know to speak. They cannot take a lot of strain to do so. Let them do. Very well. This is what a very easy language. It is, of course, a butter language. Any butler language, any murder language, any kind of language which is followed by English, it is a language. It's a communication. Do practice and speaking by talking yourself. Introduce yourself. Talking yourself. Sell yourself. I mean, if you want to sold by the society, if you want to exist in the society, First, the knowledge which is with you, you need to sell yourself. That is what only with communication, speaking skills. Do practice and speaking by talking yourself when you are alone. When you are alone, do the exercise. Singing alone with popular songs in English. Pop up and cheer, spill a staff and this is what. Doing language, doing tongue twisting exercises. Doing tongue twisting exercises. Doing one minute improper speech. Not improper language, improper speech. So I want to put a word, 26 words, 26 letters, 56 letters, which is better, which is too hard. 56 letters are too hard. You know, one thing, Britishers, they 
in they uh, revolve they they uh, did a big practice in language whatever the words at present 26 letters half of the letters are nothing but telugu words if you go back hurra is in english hare in telugu wow in english whatever in telugu chal hindi mein bolta hai shut in english mein bolte so this is what bandicoot is in english pandikokku in telugu see this is what many words telugu vachina vallaki achchatanga english easy ga vastu yavaya raksharala meeda baaga pattu unna vallaki english ane chaala easy nenu cheppabothunna so please do not try to memorize the grammar when you are speaking when you are speaking to somebody do not when a sender when a sender is speaking something when a communicator if a speaker if a person is speaking to someone do not memorize in grammar do not memorize in grammar rules that will not help you to speak english fluently and naturally do not think try to speak whatever just read and understand this grammar i mean i am not going to keep grammar aside grammar without subject verb object there is no nothing subject verb object i write english i is subject v is right is verb object is letter so based on that you can overcome many problems if you come across if you move to fifth sixth seventh and eighth automatically we can enjoy just read and understand these grammar principles and then forgot about them just read and forgot then automatically start communicating speaking so this is what thanks for giving this golden opportunity thanks for every participant for listening patiently and as once again my heartfelt thanks to dr mahipati sinwas rao garu for giving me a golden opportunity to give a talk on enriching product to skills uh, of rural students thank you sir thank you so much sir thank you very much thanks a lot it was in fact a wonderful session no you 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 gave a lot of motivation for the people how they can learn english easily and what are the steps that they need to take in order to uh, learn english in a better manner yes uh, now uh, that it's open for the q and a uh, anybody would like to ask any questions you can ask queries or else if you want to ask any uh, give compliments or if you want to add value you can do that sir good evening uh, sir i am first of all sorry i am not able to on my video there is no power here hello yeah go ahead gurucharan sir you are audible sham sir that was really fantastic no you, you know you motivated us like anything if if uh, any student watches this no he is sure that he would be inspired by your words fantastic words sham sir and you no know, uh, i like the way you delivered mm, the meaning is important more important than how you speak like you know if you say school is school a school no unless you know, you can convey that meaning that's fine no that was very fantastic sham sir i you know, the way you sang song and everything that were very nice really really fantastic thank you very much for the session very nice no doubts at all and i love your concern towards the rural students because they are the suffer sufferers and hope we will you know, do something you have done great fantastic job thank you very much thank you sir thank you gurucharan sir sham sir gurucharan sir works for model school at surapet uh, he works for various engineering colleges and uh, other colleges and now he, right now is working with a model school uh, at uh, surapet sir thank you gurucharan thank you very much right sir thank you very much yeah chandrasekhar sir you are audible hello good evening to everybody good evening sham sir i am audible Hi, Sham sir. You go ahead, Chan Shekhar. I think there's some technical issue. You'll uh, be joined. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the person whom I want to speak is not uh, online. Uh, 
he is online actually may be some technical problem sir that's fine uh, sham sir it was a wonderful session from you and you touched all the areas um, you know the kind of topic you took itself you know uh, makes everyone you know uh, raise the eyebrows because uh, it is contemporary session uh, it is a problem where uh, you know uh, we can uh, intervene with the students because lots of people from rural background uh, are unable to succeed when it matters because of the lack of you know skill set or maybe the lack of confidence when they don't have the speaking skills uh, that hampers and uh, that you know you know stops them from getting the success and uh, you have taken a, a right topic at the right uh, time and at the same time the colonial education is one you know the important thing that matters uh, that hampers uh the students or maybe the aspirants uh, progress or maybe uh, you know success and that is another part which impressed me and at the same time um like people mug up with many uh, you know uh, even intermediate students in the stage where they are in degree and we see many people uh, mugging up the things and uh, getting through the you know examinations for well, is what is happening and uh, that is the main hazard which stops them from getting success all these things uh, made uh, you know your session so successful and at the same time lastly you uh, you know you put yourself on the hot spot and uh, made them listen to the uh, like thank visitors and when you do all these things as a student uh, the biggest thing that can happen the biggest asset for uh, students is uh, losing the fear and they easily lose the fear and they are made to speak and that's that's the biggest uh, you know uh, welcome for the peer for the students to speak and then success obviously uh, takes care of itself and there are many things which i can mention and it was a wonderful session again uh, thank you and you carried the energy throughout the session and that was the best part of your presentation uh, wish you all the success and uh, thank mahipati shrinivasan again uh, for providing us a platform like this a speech like this and, uh, and thank you go ahead you know, all the best mr shams unfortunately i could not have you on you know on video i hope you it, it reaches you thank you Sir, tell me, sir. Uh, was that audible, sir? Yeah, I can was hear. I can. I can hear, sir. I can. No, I gave a lot of feedback for past five minutes. Was that audible? No, once again, make it, sir. I want to. I want to. Please, again, make it. Okay. Okay. That was the problem. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, it was a really wonderful session, uh, Shamgaru. Uh, actually, you touched all the areas and the basic thing that I, uh, the, the important things that I liked was you know colonial education and uh, you know. Um, uh the main thing that stops the rural uh, students you know from getting the success uh, with, with which uh, you know uh, hurdles them is uh, you know english and you took the need of the our topic uh, yes. i said yeah uh, it's really uh, you know uh, you know excellent uh, that you narrated in, a, in such a way you touch all the areas and at the same time uh, if rural background students could get the success uh, uh, most of the uh, purposes would be served in our country i can say yes yes absolutely sir yes uh, and that would definitely bring up uh, the standards in the rural level and that's what uh, it happened and when you put yourself on the hot spot and sang some songs and tank twisters uh, that would definitely inspire the students uh, the main thing what is happening in our education system is uh, we don't have uh, the I, mean, i don't say this but uh, in, in my uh, examination i found a lot of people uh, are not role models that you can find uh, hundreds and thousands of students and how many teachers are you know trainers do you find us speaking english in an inspiring way for the students uh, yes that that's the best part of your presentation you yourself put it yes. i see in 45 minutes making yourself uh, you know uh, speaking those and the taking an initiation and uh, yes. uh, trying to enunciate and pronounce pronounce the words and that certainly inspires the reason why yeah. i'm talking about this is uh, the fear is what is you know putting them apart and what is stopping them and when the best way to make them lose fear is to put others in the hot spot and speak and inspire them yes and of course we can you know get the best results out of it and the message was uh, to the point and you made it successful and the best part of it is you carried the energy throughout i your your efforts are appreciated and acknowledged sir uh, look forward man, for many more sessions all the best thank you sir thank you very much sir uh... it was a wonderful session given by uh, chintas shamsundar sir 
he has motivated the people and he made it know english can be learned by anyone else it's not somebody else language uh, and also he made that no rural people are in what what are their strengths now how they can make their language more comfortable and how they can speak and he has all, shattered all those no rules regulations grammar all these things are very important when you go learn higher and higher but basically when you don't start speaking uh, you don't uh, learn speaking skills especially the productive skills that's great sir and uh, also he started sharing that if you want to improve the productive skills especially the reading writing and the speaking skills the curriculum has to be changed you rightly said that because our curriculum only matches for uh, no reading, reading and writing but not yes. much for the listening and speaking of yes. course listening is a part of it and thank you very much for uh, enlightening uh, all areas sir i thank uh, special thanks for making time and uh, sharing your knowledge i thank malvi ma'am who has introduced you on this yeah. platform thank you malvi ma'am for your uh, uh, introduction and malvi ma'am also spoke about uh, the how to make your dream no uh, dream to be big and how you can make yourself better Sorry. Uh, so thank you very much thank you uh, uh, shamsundar sir thank you gurucharan thank you chandrashekar sir have a great time sir once again can you forward a thanks to my supervisor uh, dr vijay madam who is working as assistant professor in arts and social sciences usman university present she is working as the principal and uh, convey thanks because i am going to say thanks to my uh, supervisor because of her able guidance and because of her blessings today i had completed my phd and i am standing in front of you and once again i would like to say my heartfelt thanks to you sir because because of your because of your support because of your uh, what i mean to say that because of your uh, kind uh, concern to me and you are given opportunity uh, because of your opportunity today i, I came forward and have given delivered lecture i uh, thanks to you sir once again thanking you sir thank you sir dr maipati sinwasrao sir Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yeah.